It is Wednesday morning. Feels like Tuesday though because I officially recommitted and restarted my my journey to health and fitness on a Tuesday. So that kind of throws my week off, but I sure the heck am glad that I didn't decide to wait until next Monday, right? You don't need a Monday to start, but anyways. Anywho, it's Wednesday. Um, I'm just about to do my workout. It is it is quarter to seven in the morning right now. Um, I've been up since five. I, I read some personal development for about half an hour, and now I'm just gonna get my workout on. <laughs> my daughter's going to probably get up while I'm in the middle of my workout, but that's fine. These workouts are only half an hour long, so it's okay. So um, yeah, I took my e, e If you can't tell, that's why I'm so woo. It works. I love that. <laughs> I love my uni. Um, so yeah, so I will see you guys after my workout. It's lower fixed today. All right, guys, workout is done. I burned 295 calories uh, in 29 minute leg workout. That's pretty good. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna be feeling that one tomorrow. So I love leg day though. I love it. So anyways, so I'm just gonna. Um, I'm going to go have a quick shower and then I'm going to have my Shakeology for breakfast and refuel and yeah. Okay, here's Brecky. Brecky! Uh, strawberry Shakeology, water, ice cubes, banana. Delicious. Um, I totally miss my morning workouts. I like, oh my god, like I am totally getting back into my morning workouts. So I have to kind of change my schedule around a bit like because um yeah because i like typically get up at five and then do my personal development and then do some like work before my daughter gets up but so i'm gonna have to change that around a bit because i need to start my day like i will just be so much more productive in the day if i get my workout done in the morning so get up personal development e and e workout done sorry it might be too dark over here anyways <laughs> i'll come over here um, here's my snack, Duke. two hard-boiled eggs, and I'm gonna eat these really quick, and then I think I'm gonna be heading to Starbucks because my internet is down, and I have far too much to get done right now while my daughter's at school to be just trying to do everything on my freaking phone. So yeah, I'll show you guys when I'm at Starbucks what I get. All right, guys, so I went to Starbucks, and their Wi-Fi was down too. So I still didn't get a whole bunch, like, there's <laughs> so much stuff I wanted to get done. Oh, I'm so frustrated. I think this afternoon I might take my daughter to the play place because then she's entertained and I can get get a bit of bit, bit of work done there. Hopefully their Wi-Fi is working. Um, but anyway, so we'll we'll see. I'll play it by ear. Also, just use the her quiet time in the afternoon to do what I can. We'll see if my internet's back up. I guess. Um. Oh, okay, so I went to Starbucks and I ordered a passion tea and I hate feeling like a pain So I'm like the kind of person like I'm like probably any retail customer service person's like dream customer because Unless it's something I really really don't like and I'm not fussy um, I generally won't send things back if it's not what I ordered and I know it's bad and I should but whatever so I just ordered a grande passion tea and they made me an iced passion tea. And so I thought, oh, well, whatever, who cares? At least then I can drink this right away so I don't have to worry about it cooling down or whatever. So I literally only had like half an hour at Starbucks anyways. And um, it was sweetened. It was a grande sweetened iced passion tea. But they were busy and I just didn't feel like going through the whole, you know, Oh, this is sweet and whatever, and then I paid for it, so I drank it. So, so I'm telling you guys, before I wouldn't have told you guys that little detail. Um, but here I am, completely honest. I will share with you everything. So, um, I looked up the calories for the regular iced passion tea, like the sweetened one, and it's only, it still is only like 40 calories, so it's just obviously the sweetener isn't the best or whatever, whatever they put in it. I don't even know what it's sweet with. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm gonna go get my daughter from preschool now, and um, and then hopefully my internet's up when I get back home. Okay, see you guys.
Alright guys, so today's uh, today has been a crazy day. My internet is back up and working, so that's good, but then my fridge decided that it wasn't going to work. Basically, I went to make my daughter a grilled cheese sandwich for lunch, and we keep the bread in the freezer because we don't like go through, we don't need enough bread in this house to go through a whole loaf before it um, exp or gets moldy. So, so I took the bread out of the freezer. And it was like only like half frozen, like it wasn't hard, like it was like not fully frozen. So it's like, this is weird. And then I grab the cheese slice and it doesn't feel very cold. And I'm like, okay. So then I like stick my arm into the very back of the fridge and it is not cold in the fridge at all. And like, obviously, you know, obviously normally you can hear your the fan in your fridge running. And um, one second. Anyways, that was weird. Anyways, so, um, you know, normally you can hear the fan in the fridge running and you stick your hand in the back, you can feel the cold air blowing. Nothing. I could just hear this little coming from the back where the fan is or whatever. I could just hear this little, like, click, 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 click sound. And it's not, like a sound, it was clicking. It sounded like something wasn't clicking. <laughs> anyway, so I was like, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. So I, like, unload a whole bunch of the food from the freezer to our deep freeze. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with all this food in the fridge. And then, it, so then I call our management company or whatever. And I'm just like, our fridge isn't working. Like, it's warm. It's just making this clicking noise. The freezer's not working either because the freezer, like, obviously it feels colder than the fridge. Um, but it still is not, like, freezer cold. And so they're like, she's like, okay, we'll get somebody to call you as soon as possible and send somebody else to look at it. I get off the phone with them and, like, three minutes later it kicks in it's working now it sounds like a normal fridge stick my hand in there there's cold air blowing like it's cooling off now yeah like I yeah like the, there's cold air blowing now it's like <sighs> so I don't know uh, I don't I I'm still I still want them to come and look at it because I'm sorry like I don't want a fridge that's just gonna like randomly not work, you know? So, uh, yeah, so it's 12.30. I normally eat lunch like at noon, but um, I kinda was sidetracked with that. So I'm just gonna make my lunch now and I'll show you guys what I'm having. Here's my huge pita for lunch. Um, that is one and a half greens, one yellow, one blue, and one red. There's chicken. Hummus. I did half a blue container of hummus and half a blue container of cheese to make my one blue container. So hummus, cheese, chicken, uh, romaine lettuce and tomato, and the pita. Okay, for snack I'm having an apple and a teaspoon of peanut butter. So that's one purple and one teaspoon. Okay, dinner tonight is a balsamic glazed salmon with asparagus and sweet potatoes. All right guys, so I'm just having an orange container of pumpkin seeds. Um, this was just, this was all I had left today. Today was a freaking crazy, absolute insane busy day. I feel like I was just go, 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 like all day, you know? And um, so my afternoon snack was like a little bit rushed and late. Like I had that about an hour, probably less than an hour before I had dinner. Um, and normally I would incorporate my orange in my afternoon snack, but, um, yeah, so there we go. I'm just having this to finish it off. It is 5.40, so I'll still be done eating all my food by 6 o'clock, so that's good. Um, so yeah, so I'm just about to hop on. I'm, I'm hosting a live uh, What is Beachbody Coaching opportunity webinar um, tonight. I do these every Wednesday night, so if it's something that you're ever curious about, send me a message, leave a comment below or whatever, and I will let you know. Um, uh, when exactly it is and send you the link. It's every Wednesday night at 6 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, um, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, and yeah, so if you want, if you're ever interested in that, let me know and I'll send you the link. So anyways, I gotta go and get that going and I'm gonna try and get this video up tonight, but with that and then everything else that I need to get done that I missed out on doing this morning with my internet failure, um, I might get this uploaded in the morning, but whatever. You guys will see. So, see ya. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like eating. That's so rude. Okay, bye.